Hi everyone, welcome to the Diecast Collection with Ours channel. I will show you the Pixel Shaker by Hot Wheels. The Pixel Shaker is a pixelized version of the original Bone Shaker. So when I say pixelized, uh, it's the thing that you can see on a computer screen. So for example, uh, moving characters, fonts, and stuff. They're all made with these little dots to make an object that can move on the screen. So here is the pixelized version. It's now turned into something computerized. To show the difference between the pixel shaker and a variant of the bone shaker, I only have this 2016 version of the Halloween edition of the bone shaker. It's the one with the roof, but for uh, the details, it's mostly the same except for the covered roof on top. Here is a comparison of both Pixel Shaker and the Bone Shaker. Okay, so here are both cars. Here's the front. You can see that the Pixel Shaker has a chrome uh, pixel skull in the front compared to the uh, bone shaker on the left here's the right side of both pixel shaker and the bone shaker the back instead of having uh, back here uh, the pixel shaker has a back wing instead, so you can see that the bone shaker has a bed at the back, but the pixel shaker has a wing instead. Here is the left side of both models. The pixel shaker does have the ribs, but in pixelized form. In the original, it's uh, coming out as exhausts. So here is the pixel version of the exhaust of the uh, pixel shaker from the bone shaker. Both of the top of the cars. So let's see if we can stand. Oh, the original bone shaker can only stand. So here it is. This is uh, the pixel shaker is from the original bone shaker, no roof. And here's another variant of the bone shaker after the first one so this one with the roof uh, similar details the engine vents on top instead of having an engine at the back an extra one it doesn't have for the pixel shaker it's just more of the back wing for the base let's see here's the base of both pixel shaker and bone shaker this one is more simple, nothing much to see. Here, some more details in the uh, chassis. Okay, now here it is. Okay, bone shaker. Time for you to get some buddies for the pixel shaker. Thank you, bone shaker, for sending in the buddies. I have here on the background some of the latest minifigures. The minifigures uh, we have here are the Monkey King, the Video Gamer, the Programmer, and the Bounty Hunter. We're going to try to fit these minifigures into the Pixel Shaker. So the Pixel Shaker is one of these uh, models that you can attach Lego minifigures or similar minifigures because that is the working feature of this model. This is the Hot Wheels Ride-On. You can see that there's a space in there and some additional bars. And I doubt that I can use these uh, vents to place in the Lego minifigures, but we'll try in this video. For this experiment, I'm going to have to remove the base of each of the minifigures and their accessories because we want to try to fit in as many as we can. Here 
here is the monkey king removing it. Okay, looks like they're happy here. Let's see if they can fit in the pixel shaker. So let's try with the programmer inside. Okay, she's good. Next is the bounty hunter. There's a bar at the back. So the bounty hunter turning the hand a little bit and placing here. So I'm gonna have to do this way. Click the programmer. Oh, the programmer's here. This one's the gamer, by the way. So here's the gamer using the other one around here. Okay, so three minifigures already. The Monkey King. I'm gonna have to place around here. Okay, so there are four Lego minifigures in the car. I can still fit another one. So let me send in the fifth minifigure. And here's the fifth one. The biker. So removing the biker. Placing here. Kind of crowded, so let's see. Oh, it did fit. Very nice. Now we have here the pixel shaker with minifigures in the car. So five minifigures. They're all holding here. And it looks cool. So here's the back. For the rolling action, it goes here. Rolls good. We're back with the pixel shaker on its own without the minifigures and the bone shaker. I have to show you some additional details on this model. The pixel shaker is made with all plastic body and the metal base. So here's the metal base and everything here on top is plastic. The wheel sizes are the same with the bone shakers, a large wheel in the front and a larger wheel at the back with the uh, red chrome uh, lip on the rim. The paint designs are all on the sides. Like I mentioned earlier, it's made of uh, pixel-like shapes, squares, there's a paint design, color white, on the uh, top of the window. The exhausts, the rib exhausts, gray and white, eight of them. Paint striping, which is uh, fun to look at. Black and gray and orange. Oh, there's an orange color in the exhaust at the bottom, by the way. And white paint on the top of the back wing. Chrome skull part in the front, red plastic body where the uh, minifigures were connected. Same on the side, on the left and the right, they're very identical, no difference. The back doesn't have anything except for the uh, brake lights in pixels or squares if you like. Just like a computer image on screen, when drawing a straight line, you get these steps, which is pretty cool. We haven't tried the other experiment, so getting back the programmer. Let's see if the programmer can be attached on the pixel shaker through the uh, vents in the front. Nope, it's not working. How about here? Nope. Nothing else. So everything here is just working. 
if you attach the minifigures on the bars around in the front of the uh, driver's area or the back wing here looking at the interior so nothing much in the interior it's just additional space to make the minifigures sit we haven't tried that one so bringing back the programmer I'll make that the gamer instead so here yep it's almost the same as when the programmer sat in the pixel shaker this ends my video art on the pixel shaker by hot wheels thanks for watching enjoy our collection and see you with the next model